Hey, it's Doug with Backcountry Pilgrim. I've got some cool hiking gadgets to show you that I've been using this year, 2023. Some fairly new, some a little older, but it's all stuff that I'm very excited about and I'm actually using on trail this year. We're gonna start with a couple of creepers. These new toe socks by Creeper obviously have many similarities with Injinji, the sock liners and regular sock hikers that I've been wearing for several years and absolutely swear by for keeping blisters at bay. At $18, the Creeper socks come in at about the same price as Injinji. Both have seamless toe and heel construction, very good fit, pretty easy to get on. However, there are some important differences. The thing that I noticed the most was the comfort. These socks are a lot softer than my Injinji's, and they also have stretch material in places the Injinji's don't. There is a large cuff for a more secure ride and less movement and slip with the sock. The ribbed cuff on the crew length stays up very well throughout the day. The Creeper socks have a 144 stitch count compared to most that use 200, so they are more breathable, more stretchy, which means they are more adaptable to your foot shape, and they can use a stronger, thicker yarn. The sock is made of 50% responsible merino wool, and they add acrylic for softness. Furthermore, Creeper will plant a native tree for every pair sold through their work with the Eden reforestation projects. I have found the Creeper socks to be just as good as in Jinji as far as the way they work, I do, however, appreciate the greater breathability and softness of the creepers. And hey, if it gets a tree planted, why not? Now let's look at a very handy and potentially important accessory for your phone. This is the Koala from Hangtime Gear. The Koala phone holder by Hangtime Gear is just barely over an ounce. It is made of an eco-friendly material that stretches around just about any kind of phone without covering the lenses. The material is thin and slippery enough that you can still slide it in and out of a pocket even when the holder is on. And yet it is strong enough to hold up to 50 pounds. The holder comes with a three foot stretchable cord that not only keeps the phone from hitting the ground if you drop it, but is long enough for a selfie. The tether attaches to a belt loop or a backpack strap, either by using the strap clamp or the carabiner clip, or if you want to be extra careful, both. I have used this in several situations and I can attest that it absolutely works. Next, I want to look at a new gadget that I've picked up. No, it's not the bear spray. It's the holder for the bear spray, a magnetic latch that allows for a quick release in case you need it. So you have not seen me carrying bear spray because many of the places I go, it is either illegal or completely unnecessary. However, there are many areas of the world where carrying bear spray is just wise. Now for 28 bucks, you can get a magnetic holster that will allow you to grab the bear spray on a quick release and release it instantly from the holster without having to worry about it getting snagged on anything or falling out when you're not using it. The holder itself is just tight enough to pretty easily go on the bear spray canister, but not so tight that you can't spin it to orient your grip. And you don't have to worry about the bear spray falling off because the magnets are 24 pound rare earth magnets inside a small fitted collar. Believe me, if you are ever in a situation where a bear or some other kind of predator, human or otherwise, requires you to use your bear spray, the fewer things you have to think about or worry about, the better. Now the minimalist gear bear spray holster is not the only magnetic piece of gear I've been rocking on the trail lately. Let's talk about these little guys. These are magnetic trekking pole holders called Stashers by Spuds. One of the most innovative gadgets that I have seen in 2023 is the Spuds trekking pole Stasher. These are magnetic fasteners that clip onto a backpack and onto a trekking pole, allowing the poles to be snapped into place on the side of the pack when they're not being used, but easily popped back off when you need them again. The pair come in at a total of 1.75 ounces, and although they take a bit of getting used to, once you do, you may wonder how you ever got along without them. Nothing sucks on the trail quite like finally getting into a good pace and then having to stop to adjust gear. What I love about these is that they allow you to just store the poles in a place where you can easily retrieve them without having to collapse them 
or feed them through some kind of cordage system. This is especially great when you just want to put them away for a minute or two, but they can last an entire hike if needed. Now the clamp will work on a backpack strap or on a cord, however I found that because they will slide back and forth on cords, it becomes very difficult to aim the poles and get them to snap on. One important thing to note is that the spud stashers currently are meant to go on 16 millimeter diameter trekking poles such as those put out by Black Diamond, Leaky, or REI. It is possible to get them on larger diameter poles if you clamp them onto the smaller sections, but this may result in you having to carry the poles upside down on the pack, which may not be safe. Spuds has told me that they do plan on making larger diameter stick stashers in the future. The Spuds Trek Pole Stashers run 30 bucks. Next, I want to revisit my all-time favorite gear company, Hilltop Packs slash Apex Giant, and have a look at some of these little guys that I've got hanging off this Dyneema cordage from them, specifically the Apex Giant Speed Hangers. I've talked about the Hilltop Packs slash Apex Giant Speed Hangers on other videos, but I just have to say I really love these things. They are quite small, and although they are rated for between 35 and 80 pounds of holding power, depending on whether you get the large two inch or the small one inch, it would take a pile of them to even get up to a half an ounce. The six feet of Dyneema cord that comes with them has pretty much zero stretch. The hangers themselves are made of a lightweight titanium and are covered by a lifetime warranty. What's great about these is that for an almost undetectable weight penalty, you've got an easy way to hang your backpack off of a tree branch or anything else you can get the cord around. I'd also like to mention that these pair well with the dog bone bear bag hangers. I can hang a backpack off of my trekking pole strap by feeding the dog bone through it and then hanging the pack using the pack carry handle. Of course, you can do this with a stick, but if you can get a cool piece of super lightweight gear that you can always find, why not? Next, let's look at a new offering from one of my favorite brands, Knock, and yes, I am saying that correctly. This is the tried and true Vecto 2 liter bag, but this is not the one I'm actually talking to you about. It's the Vecto X. The Kanak Vecto water bag has become a staple among hikers and backpackers. But this year, Kanak released the Vecto X. It basically does the same thing as the original Kanak Vecto. It has a 28 millimeter opening that fits smart water bottle and Sawyer filter type threads. It has a quick release slide on the other end of the bag, which allows you to do a full scoop of water and fill the bag in one or two passes. Both the slider and the 28 millimeter cap are tethered to the Kanak Vecto bag, so you don't have to worry about losing them. Both are FDA approved and BPA, BPS, and BPF free, and can handle water from below freezing to boiling. The Vecto X was developed for people that need something a bit more rugged than the original, something that is going to stand up better over greater amounts of time. A quick comparison between the two shows that the Vecto X costs $24, whereas the regular Vecto is $20. The X is 3.25 ounces, whereas the regular is 2.8. The breaking point of the X is 450 pounds versus less than half of that at 220 with the regular Vecto. The X has a storage size of 7 by 2 by 2 inches, whereas the regular is 7 by 2 by 1 and a half inches. Next, I'm going to show you the mid-10 binoculars. Now, I have tried using a spotting scope out on the trail before, but I have found that good old binoculars really are my personal preference. These are fairly compact, but they are good quality for a decent price. And they are something that, although pretty weighty for ultralighters, is definitely something cool to have out on the trail. At 24 ounces, the mid-10 binoculars are not very ultralight. However, the chassis is made of magnesium, just like many higher-end binoculars are. They are nitrogen-filled, anti-fog, and IPX7 waterproof rated. These particular ones have an FMC lens with phase and dielectric coating, including a BAK4 prism. This $90 pair of binoculars comes with a strap, but it also comes with a very cool hunting style chest bag so that the binoculars can be worn up front and give you easy accessibility. So if you're looking for a quality compact set of binoculars in the budget price range, but with features that are often seen on much more expensive pairs, I would check out the mid 10. All right, last but not least, I want to talk about my new everyday carry slash hiking pocket knife, 
the Kubi 329B. In looking for a good trail knife, I wanted something that was fairly light, but fairly substantial. The Kubi Knife 329B weighs in at 3.9 ounces. It is a quick flipper opening with ceramic ball bearings and a liner lock for security. It came out of the box super sharp. Although I have been using it for several weeks, I can still cut paper no problem, and when I took it out of the box, I actually used receipt paper, and I was able to cut shapes in it. The Kubi 329B has a fiberglass handle with G10 scales. The blade itself is made of D2 steel. It is three and a quarter inches long, and the total comes to 7.7 .7 when it's open. It is a flat ground clip point shaped blade with a finger choil and jimping for a good grip, and all this is topped off with a reversible deep carry stainless steel clip. I've really been enjoying this knife. I like the fact that I can carry it where I usually do in my pocket, and for 48 bucks, it's hard to beat. All right, I hope this look at my new hiking gadgets for 2023 has been informative, helpful, entertaining for you. If it has, why don't you give the video a like, subscribe if you're into hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it, and be sure to click the bell so that you know the next time a video drops. Till next time, I'm Doug. Thanks for watching.